Yo, what up guys? Beak here, and today we're going to be talking about Elixir. You might be saying, why are we talking about Elixir? There's so many other things to talk about. Well guys, we do need to think about it, and I've been noticing my Elixir, it keeps going down. I think that's because of the army I use. I use that giant wallbreaker barbarch army. That army costs over 100,000 Elixir. So today we're going to be talking about some Elixir saving tips, just in case you need to save up for an upgrade or just fill up your storages. And number one is going to be army. Don't use giants and wall breakers, they're expensive. Use an army like BAM. I'm gonna throw the stats for BAM up on the screen, but it costs around 50,000 elixir, 50 to 60,000. Not to mention the training time is 15 to 17 minutes. That's really fast, it'll get you more raids per hour and possibly more loot. So some of the other elixir saving uh, tips I'm gonna go over today are just conserve things. Conserve your troops, conserve your spells. Use your heroes if you have them, and Clan Castle, of course. And uh, that's going to be it, guys. I recorded some live raids where I'm looking for Elixir yesterday, so I'm going to play those now. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you later. All right, guys. I love to do stuff like this while I'm searching if I see an Elixir storage or gold storage or any storage just sort of sitting out really easy to get. If I have my Archer Queen, I'm going to do this. You guys may have seen this before. I'm just going to drop some barbs, then my Queen and we're just gonna let her go in there target that storage then we're gonna press the arch queen ability and then leave it's that simple so we're not gonna you know let the arch queen get hurt we're just gonna be as fast as we can quit out boom and we got a quick 60,000 elixir there for almost no cost i like to do that uh, you know you guys don't have to do that but if you have your archer queen i would recommend trying it out so now we have an army ready let's go right back out Okay, guys, this is a good BAM base right here. Now, the dangers of BAM, the dangers to your army, are splash defenses. This guy has mortars and wizard towers at level 6. The wizard towers aren't going to affect us. They're kind of deep in the base. And we're basically just going to shoot over the outside wall. The mortars might affect us. So we're going to try to get at least two, if not three, storages. Remember, it doesn't matter if we don't, you know, we don't need to get them all. Okay, our army only costs about 50,000 elixir. So as long as we get at least a couple, we'll be good. So I usually attack one side of the base at a time. And I uh, really start off by picking off any free buildings that I can. I do that with any army, you guys know. But it's good to do with BAM because, you know, with four troops, six troops, whatever, you might be able to take out a lot of buildings. And it's just going to make it easier for your army to get in uh, later on, later on in the raid. So let's keep going. Just a few more buildings we can pick off and then we can start moving in. So I guess we'll, we'll take the town hall. It does offer a small loot bonus, whatever league you're in. So, you know, I guess that helps. It definitely doesn't hurt to get the loot bonus no matter where you are. So minions are really an important part of this army. I like to have more minions. I just don't at this time. But if you have 20 to 30 minions, they can get one storage by themselves uh, as long as they don't hit an air bomb. <laughs> So let's uh, let's see if we can do that right now. Uh, first, we'll try to get a couple storages with just the archers and barbs, and then we'll get another one with the oh bomb. Ah! We'll try to get a storage with the minions as well. So bombs, of course, the uh, the arch rival of barbs and archers is giant bombs. They really, really are terrible, and you, know, you got to try to test spots. I I completely didn't even notice there was an open spot there, but it was kind of obvious now, looking back, that there was, that there was a bomb there. And there's going to be one here, too. And it's for this exact reason. People come by, try to barge this guy's elixir, so he put bombs there. It makes sense. So we're going to just drop a few troops, let them clear these buildings, and uh, hopefully take out that bomb. Come on, buddies. Come on. You know, it doesn't hurt to take out surrounding buildings. You'll notice... Uh, my troops aren't going in right now because of the way there's there's buildings around them. So here we go. We're going to send in the minions once we check for air bombs. There's the air bombs. Ooh, there's an air sweeper now. That's right. Ugh. Let's see if those minions can get that storage, though. Even with the air sweeper, mm, they pretty much got it. Okay, great. Nice. Now, we have 147,000 elixir left at this point. If you had no troops left, you might just uh, quit out. But we're going to try to get in here with the king and my clan castle. Now, my clan castle might die. 
<laughs> from that bomb that's surely sitting right there. Yeah, they, they might not do that well. But we do have an Archer Queen. So we'll send in that Archer Queen and see what she can do. All right, go, Queen, go. Go, Queen, go. Bomb, bomb. You <laughs> see how my wizards get hit by that bomb? Oh, that's that sucks. <laughs> so there we go. What did we get? 200,000? 200, 200,000 with no spells, and we only spent 50,000. We did let our heroes die, but that was just in an effort to get... Or we left our, let our king die, but we don't really need him. It was just in an effort to get that last storage. And guys, this was not an ideal base. We all know the ideal base for this army is a dead base. A base with um, inactive mines and pumps that you can just take with, like, minimal troops. And hopefully we can find one of those so we can really show you, you know, how much you can get with a 50,000 elixir army like BAM. You can really make huge profit if you find good bases. Uh, it's interesting, guys. I had to learn this the hard way because, you know, I was mentioning it earlier. Back in the day, you didn't even need to worry about Elixir. Everybody had it. It was always full. I even used to design bases without the Elixir storages. I would put them outside the base. It's crazy. I mean, some people would need it and they would come by and take it. But I didn't mind losing 300,000 Elixir at any time because I didn't need it. Nowadays, things are different. So, of course, something I haven't mentioned yet, but something you really want to consider is not using spells. I really don't use spells. I try not to when I'm using BAM. If you need a spell, then the base is probably too hard, and you should just skip on to another base. That's a judgment call you'll have to make, but that's generally what I think. So, guys, let's wait for our army to finish, and then we'll be right back into another raid. Looks like the army's ready. Let's go. Nice. Um, normally I wouldn't say going into a storage base is a good idea, but anytime there's only two storages, it's okay. You know, if there were four, three storages on this base, it'd be a little tougher, it'd be more spread out, but, uh, there is three storages, but one of them is only level four or whatever that is, so there's almost nothing in it. So we'll just spread out our barch and maybe drop the heroes as well, and we should be fine. We should be fine to get both of these storages, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, keep that in mind, guys closely look at a base when you see it to say how many storages are here it makes a big difference because each of those storages will have what 130,000 basically that's huge that's great so we kind of got to deal with the king and we got to see if there's anything in the clan castle what up clan castle what what up king um I, I don't think I'm reaching the clan castle yet so we'll just deal with them one at a time we'll deal with the king first whoa king where are you going what <laughs> My minions are following him back in. Looks like they got him, though. There's no air shooting defenses over there. So I think we would have lured the clan castle if there was any. Great. Notice also, this guy's upgrading all of his air defenses so my minions can kind of just do their thing. Awesome. Uh, this looks like the kind of base that might have some bombs on the outside. Yeah, I was right. You know how sometimes just really messy bases, they have bombs on the outside? It's just like a, a law of nature. I don't know. So... We want to spread our troops out. That's the thing with, with barbs and arch. They're kind of weak, so they die. So you want to keep them spread out so those splash defenses don't completely ruin your day. Now, we've cleared out the first layer quite well. Now it's time to send in some minions. And just, you know, some strategic minions here are really going to help us out. We're, we're knocking out some air troops, air traps. <laughs> and we can just slowly drop in the minions here and there. And they should go to the storages eventually this is what you want to do uncontested minions meaning minions that aren't getting shot by anything they can really turn a raid around you know you can go from getting no loot to, to getting everything with just a few minions in the right spot so keep that in mind make a path to the storage send in a few and boom you're good notice also we didn't use all our troops this was the town hall 8 so you know we didn't need to use all our troops we didn't need to use our heroes um Whoops, I dropped a troop down there. Let's just give uh, give this guy a shield by... Uh, oh, we would have given him a shield anyway. We were, we were above 40%, but we'll just take his town hall for the bonus then. I don't think the bonus is much here. It's like a thousand or something, but hey, it's something. So there we go, guys. Great elixir. Uh, a little bit of dark elixir, enough to cover our minions. You're almost always going to cover your minions. Say, even if you use 30 minions... If they're level 5, that's 300. They're 10 each. Three, 300. <laughs> so, if you find a raid 
with about this 200 to 300 dark elixir you've covered the cost don't worry about spending dark elixir on bam it's so small it's very little amount and you will always almost always make it up and the elixir great loot bonus 4000 it was better than i thought so let's go back to base we saved some troops in that raid so we should have an army already and yes we do so let's go out and do one more raid see what we can find Here's another, guys. Really quick search for a base that has two storages. So that just means it's easier to get. This guy, he's a lot higher level than that last guy. But still, he's a Town Hall 8. And we're a Town Hall 9. We have, you know, just slightly higher level troops. And we have an Arch Queen. That gives us a big advantage. So we're going to try to not use a spell. That's kind of the, the theme for today. I don't really want to use spells. But we'll see what happens. Um... Let's see how much of this loot we can just snipe with minions, archers, and stuff first. And then we'll make a plan on how we're going to go in. I would say we'll probably try to avoid going through the clan castle. Clan castle is a heavy building. Don't try to go through it. It's, uh, it's not a good idea. I think if we go in just from right up here, we can possibly get everything. We can get the dark elixir too. And there's great dark elixir here, I just noticed. Wow. A lot. So... This is not the right army for this style of raid where we want to get to the center of the base. Normally, I like to have that Dark Elixir army I use. You guys know it. But that army costs, with spells, almost 150,000 Elixir. So that's why we're here today. Because I'm always using that army and I'm always spending so much Elixir. And it really made me think about how can I save some? How can I get loot but save elixir at the same time? And bam is really the way. So this is going to be the true test. Can we get in here just using bam? I don't know, guys. We're going to have to be real careful here. I'm going to have to do some, some real heavy concentration. So I'm sniping buildings over there. It's really important because we've got to get everybody to go into the base. Uh, most importantly, I don't have any wall breakers, so I need my king to bang on the walls. If he doesn't, then... I'm not going to be able to really break the walls. So, uh, once that goes down, let's start seeing where these barbs go. Come on, take out that building. I hate that. Okay, when you send in like 20 troops and <laughs> they just die before they get to the building. So, there's definitely going to be bombs in there. 100% going to be bombs in there. So, we're going to try to let those uh, get set off first. And then we'll spam the rest of our troops. Oh, my. Having a low-level king is not really fun right now. Oh, no. They didn't go... Oh. What a terrible raid right now. Oh, I had a peck. I totally forgot about that. Oh, but he's not going to go where I want him to go. No. <laughs> so, let's see if we can salvage this. Uh, who gave me that peck, by the way? Why? Did... <laughs> I should have dropped that peck first, and I would have been able to... Uh, totally wreck this but anyways guys we got a uh, wizard in the core taking out one of the elixir storages my arch queen's being stupid on the outside but uh all in all we did okay here now we can send some minions in and possibly get all the rest of the loot let's do that so here's where the minions are the best guys I i've been talking about this once you clear a path you just send in the minions and there it is we're going to get mostly everything, I think. Um, oh, Air Sweeper, of course. <laughs> we got the Dark, though. And we got half of the Elixir. And um, I didn't even use all my troops. So, you know, weird raid. W very weird raid. Um, I feel weird that I didn't <laughs> get into the base with my heroes. But anyway, even, you know, even screwing up, it's a cheap army. Who cares? We didn't use spells. Um, I tried to not use my clan castle, but I ended up using it and had a P.E.K.K.A. in it. That was weird. And, you know, we didn't even use all our troops. So, fun raid. Alright, guys. That's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, all I talked about today was really just using a cheap army like BAM. It's 50,000, around 50,000 elixir. Don't use spells if you don't need them. It's really going to save you. Conserve troops if you can. Don't use your whole army. That's always going to save you elixir. And just, you know... Be careful about what base you take. Try to take bases that have elixir. That's a big thing that I forget. Sometimes when I'm going after dark elixir or gold, I just forget about elixir entirely. But we need to be thinking about it because, you know, you need elixir too. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave me a comment below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.